Speaker. Dr David Clark. Mr Speaker, uh, the previous speaker talked about a contest of ideas, and uh, I think those watching on the TV will find it deeply ironic that all of the ideas he debated in his speech were Labour Party ideas. He may have got them wrong, he may have sent us off in the wrong direction, but he had nothing, absolutely nothing, to say about what the National Party would do if they were in the next government. They have been here for nine years. He talked about unemployment. He talked about our industrial relations policy and tried to say that that would create employment issues. The Labor government had unemployment at the lowest in the Western world when it left right. office. After the global financial crisis, unemployment went up. It is now higher than it was during the global financial crisis because of this government's stewardship. That's what a track record looks like on industrial relations policy from that side. During the 90s, it was between 7 and 11 per cent unemployment. It jumped up and down. It stayed high. This government has high unemployment. The Labor government believes in full employment and tries to get there and puts policies in place to make sure people do have work. That is the contrast that we need to see today. Mr Speaker, this side of the House does have fresh ideas. After nine long years of failure on this side, on that side of the House, all we can see uh, in, when they're, they're, they're proposing how they're going to boost the economy is a, a rocketing sales of tape recorders down in Clutha Southland and, and job creation scheme in their, in their ministerial offices down there, Mr Speaker. That's their, that's their fresh idea. That's the only one we've seen recently. We certainly heard nothing at all from that member. While we're on the Bill English debacle, um, I think we need to examine whether we can now uh, have confidence as a country in our Prime Minister. He was caught telling the truth by the police. But no one else caught him out in that regard for quite some time. He told this House that he knew nothing of the affair. He knew nothing about recorded tapes of private conversations that look like they are illegal activities. He said he knew nothing about it. And finally, he was caught out telling the truth when the papers and the statements to the police were released. That is a failure of moral leadership. We saw it with the Treaty of Waitangi uh, uh, celebrations up at the uh, Upper Northland where the Prime Minister didn't show up. Again, every time there is trouble, he ducks for cover. There is no moral leadership with this current Prime Minister. We have a Prime Minister, but I'm afraid we do not have a leader, Mr Speaker. Contrast that with what happens when Andrew Little uh, faces up and does uh, deals with uh, the matter that the uh, Honourable Maggie Barry raises. Um, and, and Andrew Little owned the issue, apologised. It was peripherally done in the name of the Labour Party, and he got on and dealt with the issue, made sure that those volunteers were accommodated appropriately and looked after. And I heard Jamie Lee Ross claiming they had no volunteers in their party. Well, I'm not surprised with ideas like his, what he was trying to put across. He was trying to say there were no unpaid people working for his party. I'm not surprised with the set of ideas he tried to bring across in the House today. There were zip, zero, zilch new ideas, uh, Mr Speaker. Nine long years, they're out of touch. We need a fresh approach, Mr Speaker, and that fresh approach uh, will involve making sure that we fund services properly, that we get on with building new houses. Stop the excuses. Stop the excuses about not building houses, about the market will set the prices. People will come across from Australia, we heard today. Goodness me, nothing, everything but a policy on building houses. The Labor Party wants, to, with the Kiwi Build project, to build 10,000 houses a year and make sure that Kiwis have access to affordable housing. In the health sphere, we, will, we want to make sure that policies are in place to deal with the rising crisis in mental health. We know that the need for mental health services has gone up 60 per cent in the last decade, yet that government has funded less than half of that amount uh, for support services. They've only gone up 28 per cent in that time. When you have demand on hospital services going up and you don't fund those services, they get cut. We've seen that, Mr Speaker, in terms of many kinds of services in the health sector. We've seen it with hip and knee surgeries, Mr Speaker. Uh, we've seen it with cataracts. We've seen it with plenty of other services. Over half a million Kiwis couldn't afford to go to the GP last year because of rising prices. $42 the average price now to go and see a GP. GP. That's happened under this government's watch. Health services are becoming less accessible to the New Zealanders who pay taxes and expect to have adequate access, affordable access to quality health care. We'll also put money into education and make sure every kid has the opportunity to get ahead. The Labor Party believes 
Every New Zealander should have a world-class education at their local school and will give opportunities post-secondary school too, working towards three years of free post-secondary education. This party believes in the future of New Zealanders. We believe in strong public services and making sure every Kiwi has the opportunity to get ahead. In McKelvey. Thank you, Mr Speaker. If I was a